Will I get beat up today? All signs point to yes. That ball knows everything. <laughs> the Simpsons has the uncanny ability to predict the future. Or we all can twist and change small moments and gags to make it seem like they do. Either way, we've heard the show predict Trump would be president and that Disney would buy 20th Century Fox. Wow, the future is here. So what's next? With 30 plus seasons of content, there are things that are bound to come true in 2020, including some major sports predictions, future technology, and possibly another presidential prediction. Now it's time to predict what The Simpsons already predicted that will most definitely come true. Make sense? Sure. Brilliant. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Let's kick things off with one of the first 2020 predictions that became a reality. The Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl. What? Let's flash back to the season 10 episode, Sunday Cruddy Sunday. In the story, Homer and the gang attend the Super Bowl in Miami, where an unnamed team in red wins the Super Bowl. Flash forward to the first week in February of 2020 and boom, there we have it. The key to this prediction comes in two forms. First was the jersey the Chiefs wore for the game. They could have easily been in white, but their home team status ensured they were in red. Secondly, the Super Bowl location. Miami is often a hotspot for Super Bowl games, but the big game has been played all over the country, including Dallas and New Orleans. The player numbers featured in the locker room scene also match up many of the players on the active Chiefs roster. One number that stood out? Number 21 which represents Bashod Breland, the cornerback who notched up seven tackles and an interception in the big game. The prediction is just one of the many sports-based ones the show has featured over the years. In the spirit of the age-old question of which came first, the chicken or the egg, we have to ask, do inventors come up with their own ideas, or do they actually base some ideas off the Simpsons' creative minds? One piece of technology we could see becoming mainstream? Hologram mail. The episode Bart to the Future not only featured the infamous Donald Trump prediction, but there's also a small moment where Bart receives a hologram message in the mail. FaceTime and AR technology have already become impressive mainstays in the digital industry, but we are on the forefront of hologram technology as well. Products like the Real Fiction HD3 display showcase hologram-like technology, and while it's marketed towards businesses, you could own one for your home. Soon, the visuals will integrate to feature live recordings and FaceTime will become hologram time. Once we all start getting these, how much do you bet a majority of the first message we record will be, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. We're guessing around 80%. Sticking with the episode Bart to the Future, we have another fun moment featuring Marge and Homer enjoying dinner together. But Marge didn't spend hours preparing a perfect meal. Her and Homie simply suck some tubes in their mouths as they enjoy VR food. So far, half of this scene has become reality. VR sets are everywhere now, from PlayStation kits to mall displays. You cannot escape the growing trend of VR technology. So what about piping food into our mouths? Well, we are close to making this a reality. In an art exhibit with a restaurant theme, patrons wore VR headsets as they went on a food journey experience and indulged in food they didn't even know they were eating. Hosted at the James Beard House in New York City, the visuals in the headset showcased a blend of food imagery and visual worlds. Patrons would get handed the food items and eat them, not knowing exactly what they had until they read a menu card after the whole experience was complete. Sound preposterous? Absolutely. Could we be chomping on McDonald's fries while we wear a headset that showcases the Hamburglar on the run in a digital world? Sounds about right. Just like the trend of completely dark restaurants, the VR dining experience is only destined to grow, and so will all those headlines about The Simpsons predicting the future. 
More recently, we've all fallen for the clickbait where people claim that The Simpsons predicted the coronavirus outbreak. Well, that simply wasn't true. Screenshots were mixed from an episode featuring a fictional Osaka flu and a photoshopped image of a Kent Brockman news broadcast. With so many worldwide health pandemics, the prediction could literally apply to any major outbreak. While the show didn't predict the coronavirus, there are some major medical advancements that are getting closer and closer to becoming a reality. In the season 23 episode, Holidays of Future Past, we see a pregnant Maggie get treated by an advanced med bot who performs an ultrasound and gives advice. Since the episode aired, we've seen surgery robots, diagnostic robots, and medical robots who can fill prescriptions. And now, advancements will help the treatment of pregnant women. There's one doctor in Japan who is developing a medical robot to conduct ultrasounds in remote locations, so no hospitals are needed. Once the robots get unleashed, it could change the way women are treated while pregnant and help serve people all over the globe. 2020 is a major election year, and this year's election could give us a major glimpse into the future. Seeing how The Simpsons already predicted Donald Trump's presidential run, we have to imagine they wanted to take another shot in the dark. Well, in 2016, the Treehouse of Horror special featured The Simpsons family shopping for a Christmas tree on Halloween night. Homer was dressed like a robot from the future. He peels back a panel to reveal a political button that reads Ivanka 2028. While we know I Ivanka won't be running for president in 2020, we could see the seeds get set for a run in the future. And it all depends on how the election goes in November. Donald Trump loses, he could set up one of his children for a run in the future. Donald Trump wins, he could want to continue his legacy a few terms after he leaves office. We're not here to get political, but The Simpsons could be right on with the timing. And we could have a political showdown that pits Kanye West against Ivanka Trump. I carumba! Way back in 2005, we got another glimpse into The Simpsons' future with the episode Future Drama. Many people love to reference the hover cars in the story, but we're focused on Homer and Marge's relationship. In the episode, the couple separated because Homer invested all of their savings on an underwater home. While the idea seems preposterous back then, Homer's investment may have actually paid off. Underwater homes are slowly becoming the newest vacation destination, and by the end of 2020, we'll see them everywhere, from tropical destinations to popular tourist spots like Dubai. Multiple companies in Japan have been working on a concept known as the Ocean Spiral. The design is meant to house hundreds of people and provide sustainable living using the ocean's energy and wildlife. So yeah, the next time you find yourself staying in an underwater hotel or putting a down payment on an Atlantic Ocean oasis, you have Homer Simpson to thank. I'm a genius. It seems like every year, more and more companies are merging together. We have a giant world of Disney incorporating 20th Century Fox, Marvel, Star Wars, Muppets, ABC, and ESPN. Then there's CBS and Viacom with the Paramount Network, MTV, and Nickelodeon. Only time will tell, but The Simpsons are already on the right track. In the flash-forward episode Lisa's Wedding, we saw a news report by Kent Brockman, who was reporting for CNNBC. CBS, which was a merger between CNN, NBC, and CBS. While NBC and CBS will remain separate for the foreseeable future, some streaming giants could acquire companies pretty soon. Rumors have circulated about Lionsgate being sold to a bigger company, and set-up streaming services like Apple and Roku may acquire their own companies as well. The major players will only grow, and gobble up a bunch of TV channels in the process. Get ready for AMC to become AMC Network. Netflix or HGTV to become Hulu GTV. As Disney settles down with their massive Fox purchase, other companies will look to expand their foothold, and 2020 is the year it could happen. We all remember and love the classic Simpsons episode, Deep Space Homer. But this wasn't the only time The Simpsons went to outer space. In the season 27 episode, The Margian Chronicles, Lisa signs up for a one-woman expedition to Mars as a company plans to colonize the planet. When Marge becomes upset at Lisa's decision, she decides to go along for the ride, only to have the trip delayed all the way to 2051 when we show Marge and Lisa actually living on the planet. So, when 
when will we start seeing memes of Lisa and Marge on Mars with confirmation of The Simpsons' great prediction? Pretty soon, actually. Elon Musk's SpaceX program has some major plans for the future. It starts with a cargo trip to Mars in 2020, then a citizen-based trip around the moon in 2023. This will be followed with a human mission to Mars in 2024, the first of its kind, if it all goes to plan anyway. If the Mars test goes well, it could only be a matter of time before astronauts start spending extended amounts of time on the planet. For every advancement in clean green energy, it seems like there's some type of company trying to shut things down. The frustrating barriers were portrayed perfectly on The Simpsons in the episode Paths of Glory. When Lisa enters an alternative energy derby, her solar-powered car is unable to finish the race due to a Duff beer blimp blocking out the sun. Well, 2020 is the year of major advancements and major hurdles companies must go through to get mainstream. Yep, many future technologies will feel the same metaphorical shadow of a duff blimp just like Lisa felt. Environmental rules and regulations have been stomped on and changed by Donald Trump's term in office with nearly 100 major changes so far. Don't 2020 will definitely cross the 100 mark, especially as Republicans look to bolster their campaigns with help from major oil companies. At least car companies continue to move forward, with electric versions like the Porsche Taycan, Hyundai Nexo, and Jaguar I-Pace. The more these companies thrive for clean energy solutions, the more we can move away from the green energy shadows blocking our future. There have been multiple times on The Simpsons where we've seen robots taking over. One of the earliest was the season 6 episode Itchy and Scratchy Land. The animatronic robots went haywire, causing massive destruction. Ah, my hair! You chopped off my hair! Oh god, I'm ugly! Then there's also the 2013 episode, Them Robot, where Mr. Burns hires robots to take over the nuclear plant. Well, in 2020, we will see the advancements of robots, along with some potential problems. One of the first indicators? The Disney World Avengers Campus. Previews have showcased an animatronic Spider-Man flying high over guests and performing multiple mid-air moves. Well, it's only a matter of time before the thing goes haywire and lands on the guests below. <laughs> <laughs> Companies like Amazon are relying on AI tech even more than before, with major plans for expansion in 2020. Just like the nuclear plant's robots, we could see some major glitches or errors. Imagine ordering a new pair of shoes only to get a pair of oven mitts in the mail. Dang you tricky robots! Used to be cool. We are the same temperature we have always been. The key to preventing the robot revolt is preventing hackers from taking control rather than the robots themselves. Good luck. We're watching you, Roomba. Now back to the charging cradle. Okay, now it's your turn. Which Simpsons predictions will become true in the future? Any great ones we missed? Do you think SpaceX will actually reach Mars? Well, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Screen Rant for more great content.